Hi, welcome along to another video. This time, I'm going to give you an update on the Germany information. We'll discuss Greece, then we'll do China, and some other bits and pieces. Thank you for your support, as always. In the recent video about Germany, I showed you some information from the Rems Muir Kreis website to do with hail suppression, and I did ask them what the situation was, the outcome of that, was that theoretically all citizens and the German Weather Service, the DWD, can stay fully informed about the weather modification activities in the area because all of the data is published on the website. So the German Weather Service should be aware of that information, but they're not because they don't look at it. Or maybe they do, but they're pretending not to. So continuing with Germany, Rosenheim, I've also spoken to someone there, and their project, which runs from May to September, is still ongoing, but they were happy to announce that they've had some extremely good results in June and July. They will be sending me their data sets in September. That's Rosenheim in Germany and their Hail Suppression Weather Modification Program. If you want a little bit more information on that, watch the last video. Greece. Does Greece have a weather modification program? Yes, it's the GNHSP, the Greek National Hail Suppression Program. So it's hail suppression, it's operational in 2006. Starting year was 1984. It's governmental run. Runs between April and September each year. And there are some contact details there should you wish to pursue this information and to find out, as I am trying to, what's currently going on in Greece regarding their weather modification programs. China, similar to the German, Dutch and Belgian flood, where 300 people were killed. China, current totals of about 300 people have died in floods. It's highly likely you are already aware of China's weather modification program. It does get publicised, they do not hide anything about what they're doing. So if we take a look at some previous information, from the beginning of January this year, rainmaking drone takes maiden flight. Its performance was up to standard. The project was launched in March 2019 to help artificially increase rainfall and snow. It solved many universal tasks of weather modification and it is also capable of night flights. By the end of December 2020, the drone had completed 23 scientific trial flights, including six in a mountain region to increase rainfall and snow. Compared with current methods of producing precipitation, the weather modification drone is more efficient and flexible with longer endurance and lower costs. Weather modification in the mountain region could increase annual rainfall by 15%. An official with the Meteorological Administration said the success of Ganlin 1, the drone, will not only improve the efficiency of producing artificial precipitation in the province, but also lead work on weather modification drones across the country. And there's a picture of it. And if we go back to April 2018, so just over three years ago, China to make it rain over area three times the size of Spain. Since 2013, China has been creating 55 billion tonnes of artificial rain a year. Authorities intend to force rainfall and snow over 1.6 million square kilometres, 620,000 square miles an area roughly three times the size of Spain. The country plans to build tens of thousands of combustion chambers on Tibetan mountainside. Combustion chambers, weather modification generators. And this is kind of as far back as we sort of get with China in 2008. China launched over 1,100 rockets containing silver iodide into Beijing skies before the Olympics opening ceremony to disperse clouds and keep the Olympics rain free. Beijing has a development plan for weather modification until 2020. 
So if we get to December 2020, it's announced China to expand weather modification program to cover area larger than India. So that is about one third of China. So it's more than one and a half times the size, total size of India. According to a statement from the State Council, China will have a developed weather modification system by 2025. The statement added that the program will help with disaster relief. So you modify the weather, have an extreme weather event that causes floods, it kills 300 people, and the weather modification will help with disaster relief. That makes complete sense, doesn't it? So that announcement was announced all over the world. We just looked at CNN, this Australia, in the UK, in the Guardian, as mentioned in some previous videos, been going through the archives from November 2016, nearly five years ago. Cloud seeding data to be tested in Morocco. And then in the second paragraph, armed with its encouraging data showing a 20 to 30% increase in rainfall from cloud formations over the UAE that were seeded with environmentally friendly salts via aircraft. Officials say the workshop could help arid countries around the world, etc. So the UAE's research program for rain enhancement science states that they can increase rainfall by 20 to 30 percent. China was saying by 15 percent. Also from December 2016, misinformation or disinformation, however you want to see that, from the UK's Financial Times used to be mentioned a lot about space mirrors being put into space to reflect sunlight as part of geoengineering plans. As you can see from that image that's been made from taking a picture of the underside of a compact disc that normally plays music or movies. You can clearly see that's a disc with some little bit of rocket graphics attached to it and they're trying to make people believe that space mirrors are physical mechanical structures that would be launched into space when the fact is is that the sky is the mirror and that's why metallic particles are sprayed into the sky the cloud base is the mirror that's the space mirror the Financial Times is quite an intelligent newspaper in the UK so you would presume they know that but compact discs though California from November 2016 cloud seeding resumes over Sierra cloud seeding has resumed over the Sierra Nevada and this is done by the Northern California Power Agency which has conducted cloud seeding every year since 2006 so the Northern California Power Agency is redistributing moisture throughout California since 2006 not sure if you've had any droughts or fires but if you have you might want to have a chat with the Northern California Power Agency so I sent them a little email asking for their data sets since 2006 clicked send 404 page not found it looks like nothing was found at this location maybe try a search which I did already if you search their website for cloud seeding or weather modification it doesn't come up with anything so I tried again turns out it's not secure so the Northern California Power Agency doesn't have a secure website terrorist though okay to wrap up this video we'll take a little visit to the World Meteorological Organization website as they've been busy removing more information relating to weather modification activities there's a list of the expert team on weather modification the members are from the russian federation united arab emirates japan united states of america india indonesia south africa france australia and china so if we click on documents and publications there aren't any so i thought i'd drop them an email as well and ask them for their data. Unable to send email, contact the site administrator if the problem persists. Your message has been sent. Interesting. So I thought I'd try again, just in case, and the same happens, in a bit of a different style though. The message has been sent, but it's unable to send. 
so I have tried them on a well-known social networking website, but I haven't had a response yet. I'll keep you updated. So regarding the expert committee on weather modification research that doesn't have any documents or reports available on their page, so using the Wayback Machine, the WMO Expert Committee on Weather Modification Research to promote scientific practices in weather modification research. Countries involved, the United States of America and their famous enemy, Russian Federation, also coupled in with their famous enemy, China, right at the bottom. There's also Kenya, France, Thailand, Israel, Australia, Japan and India. But communism though, Weather modification around the world. 56 countries with active cloud seeding programs. This is in 2016. In blue, precipitation enhancement programs. In red, hail suppression programs. Green, precipitation and hail suppression programs. Combination of the two. I hope you found this information useful. Take care of yourselves. Be wise. See you next time.